Hello guys, uh, as promised, we are in the shed, we are doing the hot glue challenge. That's right. Radio. Well, as you can see, one bush mule. Seen better days, my ad. We have a, a whole pot of hot, uh, hot glue sticks. We have a hot glue gun, which is pretty much empty at the moment. So we are starting this is the first stick of many. Right then, a little tip for you guys. Mount the end. Stick it to the back. When it works, of course. Is it going to work this time? Oh, got glue going everywhere already. All right, I don't think that's going to stay on there. Anyway, let's get into this challenge. That's a uh, one glue stick loaded. Let's get in there. Right. Going to start off with trying to figure out the fuselage. Nose cone, side bit, canopy. Don't need that for a while. That can stay over there. Uh, that could be part of the back. Anyway, going to sort out. Going to take this wing off first. Going to take these wing struts off. Right then, don't know if this is going to be time sensitive or not, but we'll see how it goes. Got screws. Just get stuck in and see how it comes out, isn't it? the wing off. Wing spar. Yeah, that's bent. We'll sort that out in a minute. Right then, best way to do it. Get stuck in. Right, let's start with the back, shall we? Oh, landed. Again. <laughs> right then. Don't need that. Back half looks okay. So, first glue stick going in. Thing about hot glue, you can use a nozzle to almost like inject it inside the slots. Oh, where's that bit of foam from? Don't know, find out in a minute. Right then, the wire should go inside. That sticks up in the hole. So,
Right, we've got a heat to hold it for a few seconds. Each time. Maybe a bit more. In. Oh, that's the first one gone. Glue stick number two. Take a bit of pressure to hold this, hold that bit together while it's it. Like say, you can push it in and just eject little bits as we go. Second so camera up there. little puzzle piece. Right, the back's coming on nicely. Right, question is, do we... Looks like that servo's dead. So what I'll probably do... is just... that door shut because I've got a feeling it's going to be quite structural no matter what glue you got it just never goes off quick enough does it a bit for that. What's this? Glue stick number three. Going in. It's almost like this glue is getting too hot now. If that's at all possible. That's my uh, camera landing. Ah, 
Ah, landed. Yeah. Sucker melts. Not very good. Tell you what. Let's give up on that sucker melt. Let's just put it there. in the bloody hole man. Right. Stay there, see if we might get some good footage. Um, oh, got a bit of a split there. Again, all I'm going to do is just push the nozzle in. Watch all the glue run out. Yeah, so what I'm probably going to do, just going to glue that straight in, I think. So as you can see, it's <laughs> quite a large gap around it now. So it's probably a good job I'm gluing that in. Because it doesn't look like it's the right shape anymore, but okay. This is only for one flight. Right, I've got to hold that for a minute, a few seconds. What do you reckon? Is it getting there yet? Is that going to stick? Yeah, it looks like you're right. Got a bit of a gash in the front here. So much glow mounds already. Oh, there's an aileron. Oh, yeah. That hasn't stuck for shit. Yeah, I think the glue's getting really hot now. It's taking longer to uh, longer to set, and it's actually actually uh, melting the foam, which is not a bad thing. So this is only going to be for one more flight. Don't need another stick in a sec. Yep. It's number four. Oh, I've lost count already. Gotta be number four, innit?
Right. Yeah, this glue. No matter what glue you got, it never sets quick enough. Right, let's work on the nose then. Oh. Actually, should we stick that back on? Yeah, it looks like it's going there, right? Hold in a sec, guys. Yeah, like you say, never never dries quick enough. Might did I have a wing? Uh goes that way around. So the amount of times I've snapped those wing joiners out of this plane, loads of times. Got to be, I say, at least seven, maybe more. Looks like that's going to hold for a sec. I can do up here. Oh god. So much glue on my hands. Yeah. Just injecting a bit in that joint because that's split. Right, I suppose now is a good time to take the motors off. That's not going to just take the headers off. Can't change them anyway, so. At least they'll be out of the way. Right. Right, now I'm thinking. Start looking at the fuzz then. Oh, 
that's what's left of the bottom half. I think I've got a side piece here somewhere. Yeah. Right, I can sort the electrics up later. Gonna need another stick. Inject a bit more in that bottom corner. Just for added measure, I'm going to put a bit of tape on the bottom of there, just so it's easier. So when I turn it over, it kind of stays in one place. Good so far. That can be glued in. I've got grass all over it now. Number one. So uh, I don't know how I'm up to now, guys, but it's a few. Right, I'm just going to hold this bit for a sec. Clean those edges up. Just trying to cool it down as quick as I can. This bit looks broken, that way round. It sort of goes in like that. Up there, how is the front? Right then. This bit, this bit here looks like it's deformed quite a lot here. So I'm going to do as best, we can, best as I can to hold it while the glue is cooling off. Yeah, it's deformed quite badly. Right, I'm just going to hold that down. A few secs.
try and rebuild this nose in some sort of shape. There's the nose. Oh, there's the nose. Yeah, that's definitely seen better days. So this is not going to win any. Uh, not going to win any beauty pageants. So I'm more doing this. Literally, one more flight because it's going to be a very good flight. Because I'm not going to give absolute flying buggery what I hit. So the little budgies and all the all the other little planes at the funny farm watch out because I'll be coming after you right I'm just going to hold that a few secs looks like we've got an extra cooling hole in the corner there Fair, I might reinforce this front with a bit of tape because so uh, it's all very badly distorted and it's not very uh, structural to say the least but then hey ho it's not really anywhere near the wing so it doesn't need to be structural in fact I've flown one flown the last the, the original the sky mule with no nose on it whatsoever just taped a battery to the front. Right. Let's wonder if that piece goes in there somehow. Yeah, <laughs> that was lucky. Right, gonna have to hold that one for a bit, guys. Oh, this, this glue never dries quick, as quick as you want, does it? So, uh, well, she's getting there. We'll see what the canopy fits like in a minute. I don't think it's going to fit. But we're... Um, she's had a bit of a batter as well, the canopy, so... Anyway, like it might got battered together. Wind's getting up. Normally we're out on a flying day today. But, uh, Mother Nature just had better ideas. Oh, come on. The trouble is putting a lot of hot glue in stink. It warms up and it doesn't want to cool down. So yeah. Hopefully you're getting a good shot, yeah? So, right then. Oops, gosh, look at my fingers, right then. 
Let's have a look. That could do with it, but let's see what the canopy looks like. Apart from the gaping hole in it, it doesn't actually look too bad. Let's just address that gaping hole. You need no one. It's got to be six, seven now. I'll do a counter on the video. Just hold that bit in place a sec. Yeah, that's where the prop went through. I don't know if you, you guys have seen the other video, but yeah, natural pop went through the side of the canopy and it only stopped because it hit the battery. Luckily the battery was fine, but With a bit of tape, I think that'd be all right. Let's put that down there. Yeah, let's put it over there. Right then. What have we got left? What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna glue these wing sections on. But like I say, it's, it's the last flight. I've broken these off several times. I must have re-bent them back enough blinking times but right then let's connect up the gear for the last time Make sure we've got the connections right because it ain't coming off. Oh, got, so I've got a pack for you guys. Just trying to manhandle that lot in there. Got a bit of dihedral in it now, but what I'm going to do is just going to fill that full of hot glue. Please. I'm just going to hold the wings in place, well, this wing in place while that sets. I say it's not. It's only going to be one flight. Well, say that it might not even be one flight. <laughs> so it's going to start getting a bit tricky. He's really need a big shed. So like I said, I can inject that. Hold it for a few secs. And so this is what I think the culprit was. That end snapped out of the, the fuselage, which then made this wing snap off. And then uh, 
The rest of us, as they say, is history. So what I'm going to do on the, the last flight, I'm going to, I am going to support this. I'm going to put something from going from one side to the other to help this, because to say this glue joint here, we don't want it breaking prematurely, put it like that. Because that would be a quite disastrous. But yeah, just gluing it enough for now. Hold that wing in place. Yeah, so she's uh, coming together nicely. Motors look quite straight. Running out of space on the bench. That's the trouble of doing small shed, big planes. Right, it's a bit hot glue on there. Yep, I am going to need another one though. Bit of dab of hot glue on those holes. And push the hinge together. Not forgetting the other hinge. Right. I do believe that side is done. So let's try and balance it on there or something. Let's take a couple of batteries on the back there. That'll hold it down. Right then. Last wing. Straighten out that. Yeah, that's good enough. See this one. We snapped an aileron off it. So I will be taping, putting some uh, hinge tape on there. Right, let's connect her up. So make sure you've got the connector the right around. There is a small square foam missing out of this one, but like I say, the wings are going to be uh, glued on. So I'm not really that fussed about it. And so I'm going to put the screws back in this one because it looks like they're screwable. that. Put the wing strut back on. Right, let's put some stuff and glue down inside there. Right, just going to push them together. Best way somehow. Don't know. Don't think that's really doing a lot to be fair. Right, so what we do. I'm going to get the hinge tape out. 
we'll have a go at fixing that aileron. So hinge tape, I mean blend down tape. Oh, so much glue hands. Right. This is going to be quick and dirty as well. Do the same on the other side in a sec. Attach the horn and the knife. There we go. Double hot glue. Done. What I do, we attach the motor as soon as it's this way up already. But as you know, 50% chance of getting it right, 100% chance of getting it wrong. To the other side. Getting somewhere now, guys. Doesn't look too bad. As usual, need more space in the shed. Right, let's draw that canopy out. Play ball. Well, 
not the greatest, but it certainly sits there. <laughs> right, and there we are. Right, stop the clock. I can't remember how many glue sticks I used. We got about half of that one left. And there you go. Obviously, you're going to have to sort out, make sure the electrics is still working because it's all buried in there somewhere. Doors a bit hanging off the side. A bit of tape. Motors are fine. That one's feeling a bit rough, but hey ho. So uh, there we go. Hot glue challenge. There you go. So if you uh, ever break down in the field, end up in a hedge, toying with life on the edge as it were, um, smash it to bits, just take the hot glue challenge. It can't be that bad. What's it, 100 glue sticks for no, four or five quid? Bit of time, at the very least, sorry, at the very least you'll get one extra flight out of it. Um, and an extra flight, you will not care about what it does. So, take the hot glue challenge, I dare you. Oh, so, so for me and the bush mule, I'll see you on the flight line. <laughs>